Hey guys, how's it going? This is some guy, and today I'll be giving my opinion on, at long last, CD Moose Walla, uh, The Last Ride. I did a track of his, I think just the one, a few months ago, and firstly, like, was blown away by it. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of requests afterwards, which I've only just got back to, apologies. Um, but yeah, basically, um, lots of recommendations and from what I read about him online, he's well, he, uh, iconic, legendary status, and you know that 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 came through with the comments from people talking about him. Um, so yeah, definitely needs and wants to have him on the channel more. Uh, so this track was the most recommended. Uh, it was recommended by a lot of people, so I won't name you all individually, but thank you for doing so. Um, I also noticed the original, the main the main video was released I think, like a week before he actually died. And it's called the last ride so like i don't know i i, I think i saw someone comment on another video that he 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 knew that he was getting like he was in danger or something anyway it seems it seems um well sad that yeah that's the name of the song knowing what happened but anyway i found a translated video i don't know if it's any good but it seems to make sense let me know if the translations are not good though uh, and I'll try and find a better way of doing this in the future. But yeah, anyway, let's jump in. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yo, what's it? Just arrived live on the scene of Tell him you're poor, man. Huh? Oh, my God, that's how I'm not a fool out of the bar. Hold on in your bar. Right, I'll get these. Good. I didn't actually know you could do this, so the. Let's go there, just to make it stand out a bit more. Okay. Yo, what's it? What's it? Just arrived live on the scene of the <laughs> Tell him in your phone, man. Huh? Like I'm gonna get some out of the bar. Hold on in your bar, I collect each other. That um, that that line, considering obviously what happened, is is even more powerful. I I, I think he's talking about someone else, right? Like a, a young, fresh person. And he's saying, "Oh, they're going to die young." Obviously, knowing what happened with him, um. Yeah, just musically as well. Like I love the way he delivers his lyrics. I don't know if this is normal for for uh, like rap in uh, it's in Punjabi, I believe. Um, but it's sort of more melodic, isn't it? It's like a half singing, half rapping style, which yeah, it's hard. Um, and yeah, let's let's, let's take it back slightly. <laughs> That implies to me that he is talking about himself. Maybe he is. I mean, I guess it's on the first rapper that I've heard say like that they they might die young or they live fast, die young. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, let me know if that's I'm, I'm interpreting that right. <laughs> Two back references again. I mean, I, I think I pointed this out. Well, drew that link in my first reaction. I want to say, um, if not, it was just after. But yeah, I can certainly see it in terms of 
from my limited understanding, his impacts in a short space of time on uh, a genre, a country, or a language. Yeah, Tupac. There aren't there aren't many people you can say about that about. So. <laughs> yeah i've not even mentioned like uh, uh, firstly i wanted to know is he involved in the production of all of his music just so i understand like where they're coming from as an artist um but either way yeah it, whoever did it on this so so clean like how they're taking it out and just teasing elements back in again like it's it it's, it's interesting to me because it, underneath it sounds like a like a hip-hop beat from the, the, the 90s almost maybe you know like dre's dre's style it's not like a dre you don't hear that and you think that's dre you can you, you can imagine that being released at a similar time as when dre in the in the 90s was making those first um kind of like gangster rap records um yeah hard hard beat <laughs> See, that says so the, the translation said areas in the in in punjab that makes me a bit more confident that maybe the translation is good um like it makes sense at least usually it's obvious if they're bad translations but let me know how good it is <laughs> while he's alive it is it is tupac like in how he's sort of predicting it like that's yeah <laughs> Okay. Um, I mean, so yeah, so start musically. Really, really like that track. Like, I could like that's that could be a playlist song for me easily. In fact, it will be. 
you know, it was catchy. But the way he delivered it was quite, I mean, his tone still sounded quite um, confident and, you know, gangster at times. I say gangster, like, it's sort of like a, a swagger. Swagger's a better word for it. Um, but yeah, and in terms of the other, the, the deeper meaning, I mean, let me know what you think. Uh, I, I, I assume he is talking about himself, obviously, before he died. But obviously, if that is true, he must have lived in a lifestyle where he thought it was like it was coming any time. And, and that is why he wrote those kind of lyrics. Or is he talking about somebody else? Or, or maybe just a typical person in that lifestyle? Like maybe he's saying that nobody could be anything like him in terms of how outspoken he is without risking their life. So, yeah. Yeah, but could, could also be interpreted that way. Um, either way. It's it's sad, and I can and I can see from from two songs how people love him so much. I mean, and that's and that's without coming from the area, the country, or or really knowing his stuff. I can see why he would get a certain loyal following. Um, yeah, just gone too soon, like a, like like so many others, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, be that as it may, um. I hear he's got a lot more music, so let me know about it. Keep the recommendations coming. I want to hear more. Um, yeah, I, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate that. Otherwise, I'm out.